We're going to look at part two, which is the screwdriver analysis. Now, in this case, what we have to do, um, we are going to look at the two tool marks that were recovered from the scene and compare them to four screwdrivers um, and see if we can include or exclude any of them. So if we're looking, here's tool mark A and tool mark B. Tool mark A is just a straight down impression, and then tool mark B is a bit of a drag. So the first thing we have to do is actually get some general measurements and some characteristics about A and B. First of all, these look like they're probably from a flathead screwdriver, noting by this long line, versus a uh, Phillips, which would kind of make a little bit of a star or an X. So we're going to go across now and we're going to take a length measurement for A and then we're going to take a width measurement for A as well. So we'll put down our ruler at first. We're going to line up one of the whole numbers right on the outside and then go across and take a measurement. So the actual measurement, and I apologize it might be hard to see with the light, is 5. So we have 5 millimeters going across because here, right here, we're starting off at the 2 but we're ending right here at this five, okay? So five millimeters. Otherwise it would have been considered two and a half centimeters. So now we're gonna use our millimeters and go do the width. So for the width of our mark, we're actually going to put this right here. And we're gonna look across to see how our, how what is the width of our impression. And our width of our impression is about half of a millimeter, so 0.5 millimeters. 0.5 millimeters is the width, 5 millimeters is the length. Now for our drag mark, which is mark B, this kind of looks like a was a prime mark or a drag, we're just going to take the width of this mark. So the width of this mark here is 5 millimeters. Again, the width is 5 millimeters. The width is actually very consistent with this, okay? So definitely A and B came from the same screwdriver, but this looks like it just definitely was a drag. They're at least the same width of the screwdriver. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at the screwdrivers themselves and then make comparisons based off of that, and we'll measure them. But I'm just going to introduce you to them. So here's screwdriver number one. Screwdriver number one is a very small flathead screwdriver. It's yellow and black. Screwdriver number two here, here's screwdriver number two, is a blue and white screwdriver. It is a flathead as well. Slightly bigger overall, but actually the width of the tip seems about the same. We have screwdriver number three, also another yellow and black body, but screwdriver number three is a Phillips head. And it has a little rust inside of it. So this is screwdriver number three. And now we're gonna look at screwdriver number four. is another flat head. This has a red and black handle. Here would be screwdriver number four. And notably, the uh, tip of this, the width, is a lot thicker than screwdriver number two um, and screwdriver number one. So, but there they are for you. So we have one, two, three, and four, and what we're going to do is measure them. So when we measure them, there's a few things we want to do and note. You want to know the tip length and the tip width. So in this case, let's start with screwdriver number one. I'm just going to move my marks up here. I'm going to have my handy dandy um, ruler there. So here is screwdriver number one. I'm just going to line it up to begin with, right over here. And I am a total of three millimeters going across. So for screwdriver number one, I am three millimeters across. If we're looking at the tip width, the tip width itself is just half of a millimeter, so 0.5 millimeters. Looking now at screwdriver number two. For screwdriver number two, if I'm getting my width, my width is five, 
So screwdriver number two is five millimeters across. So five millimeters. And if I'm getting the width here, the width of the tip is again another half of a millimeter. So 0.5 millimeters. If we're looking at screwdriver number three, screwdriver number three, in this case, we're just gonna do the width overall, and the width is five. So five millimeters in width. Screwdriver number three, five millimeters um, just going across. It's not really width and length because this is a circle, so our diameter is five, and um, it is a star tip pattern, okay? With some rust. If we're looking at screwdriver four, this is the red and black one, screwdriver number four. Again, I'm gonna start it on one of the whole numbers just so we can have an accurate measurement. Moving across and looking to calculate how much it is, we are at six millimeters. So six millimeters in length. And now what we're gonna do is collect the width measurement. Here, we're gonna put it down and you are one millimeter in width, one millimeter. We actually hit that one up there, okay? One millimeter. So just to remind you um, when you're looking at this ruler, so the big numbers that you see are centimeters. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Each of these little lines here, okay, these lines, these incremental lines that are here, here's the five. These, each of these lines represent one millimeter. So there's 10 of those lines in between these two numbers. And then the little tiny, tiny lines in between those two, the smallest lines, those measure a half, so 0.5 millimeters. So it gives you a rough, uh, actually a very good idea of what the lengths and widths were. So there we go. The next thing we're gonna do is to actually bring out a piece of lead and a lead sheet, and we're gonna make some imprints, and then we'll measure our imprints, and then compare our imprints also to this, and see if we can actually exclude or include any of the screwdrivers. Screwdriver one first, and we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna make um, an impression straight down. So this is screwdriver one, and we have an impression mark for you to look at. Oops. It's very small and tiny, but it's right here. So I'm gonna flip the sheet over just a little bit, maybe a little less shiny. Okay, so let's go down, let's do another impression for one. Here we go. Okay, here is impression mark one. I'm gonna lower you so you can see it a little better. And we're going to measure across so for impression mark one, again, we're very small. We're realistically only three millimeters going across. And that half a mil, oops, sorry, you couldn't see that. We are half a mil this way, okay? So there you go. That's for number one. Let's go to number two. We're going to put them in order. I'm going to just lift, raise the camera so I can make the impression. We're going to go straight down. There is our impression for number two. So here's number two. If we're looking to see how wide it is, number two is that five millimeters going across. Okay. And then we're going to see what it is in width. Flip it this way. It is that half a mil cross. We'll document each time. Now we're going to do number four, because remember we said number three is that Phillips. We're not going to use that one. So pardon me again. I'm going to raise you up while I stick my hand in here. Here is number four. So number four is the biggest mark yet. Number four, if we're measuring our tool mark itself, is six going across. 
and then it is one mil in length. Okay. The other thing we're going to do is just make a quick drag. So with each one, we're going to pull down and drag. That's for one, which is a straight mark, no striations. Number two gives us some striations on both sides. And here is number three. Okay. So they're all giving us a unique pattern to just look at. Or, sorry, that was not number three, that was number four. But we can also pull across two to find different ways and uh, kind of like a prying action. So I'm just going to show you this would be number two. I'm going to take number two right now and just do a pry going back and forth. And you can kind of see how we have these marks. And these pull marks and drag marks are unique to the wear and tear of this actual screwdriver. But we have one, two, and our last one over here is four. And if we're just going to compare them to the marks here, we have A and B. And we can kind of see one of them is definitely very similar. So these are just showing you what we did. Hopefully you recorded the measurements as we said what was going on. And you can record them in your book. Or on your data sheet, excuse me.